This conference will now be recorded. Right. So yesterday, uh, till yesterday, uh, we have seen how to write uh, what select statements for retrieving the data from what one or two tables, right? And we have seen the last example uh, how to use joins between our three tables. Okay. Now, in order to uh, what avoid joins in the select statements. Okay, in order to avoid the joints in the select statements, uh, we need to use, okay, so to avoid joints in select queries, what you have to do, we need to, what, use what, views, we can, we need to use dictionary views, okay, we need to use dictionary views in what, select statements, okay, we need to use dictionary views in the select statements. All right, let me put it as we need to use database views in what select statements. Okay, so before we see how to create the database views, first let us see how to create our custom database tables. Okay, first we'll see how to create the custom database tables. Once we are done with this concept, we will see how to create the views. Then we'll go back to our select statements and we'll start using the views in the select statement. Okay, so, so far I have not started the dictionary objects. So, I'll discuss what some of the concepts of dictionary objects. Then later on again, we'll go back to our programming part. Again, when as and when required, we'll come back to what dictionary objects. So, our agenda is we need to create what database views. Okay. So before understanding this database views, first let us see how to create what our own custom database tables. Okay, so there are many what standard database tables. Okay, there are many standard database tables. Standard database tables is what they are provided by what SAP itself. Okay, they are provided by SAP itself. Okay, so how do we maintain? How do you, okay, how do you maintain data in standard database tables? We'll maintain the data in standard database table through what? Standard transactions. Through standard transactions provided by what? SAP. Yeah, uh, is my voice is clear. I'm taking the class from a different location and using different server. So I just want to check whether the setup is fine or not. Is your voice is clear to everyone? Hello? Okay. Yeah, others can you please respond. Is it fine with everyone? Okay, fine. Uh, please stop me if you have any disturbance, okay? Right. Okay, so where we are? So there are many standard database tables provided by what? SAP itself. What are the standard database tables we know? We have KNM1 table, customer master data table. We have VBA table, sales document header table. We have VBA table, sales document item table, MARA table, material master data, MAKT table, material what descriptions like this. There are thousands of tables provided by what? SAP itself. Now, how do we maintain the data in the standard database tables? SAP has given what some standard transactions. Okay. For example, okay, if you want to maintain, okay, if you want to maintain what customer data, okay, for customer data, okay, what is the T code we use? We use a T code called as what XG01. It used for what creating what customer data creating create customer so this data understood this data is captured in what customer tables okay this data is captured in customer tables so when it's a customer tables again we have many tables knm table knbk table like this we have many customer what related tables similarly when i say material data okay material data means there is a T code given by what SAP itself. Okay. What is the T code? MM01. Okay. This is for what? Create what? 
material create material okay so whenever we create the material this data is captured this data is captured in what material tables okay this data is captured in material tables we have many material tables again we have mara table makt table okay uh, marc table material plan data material storage location like this we have many tables okay now when i say sales order data okay when i say sales order data that is the t code is what va01 this is for what creating what sales order creating the sales order okay so whenever we create the sales order through this va01 this data is captured in what what some sales table like uh, we already know okay we have seen the tables what vba k table vbe k table vba p table like this we have what many sales related uh, tables okay then i want to capture what purchase order data so the t code for this is what me 21 uh, this is create what purchase order create purchase order okay so in this whenever i create the purchase order data this data is captured in what purchase order related tables it's not related tables again we have many tables we have ekko table ekpo table like this so on so so what i'm trying to show here is as part of different modules of sap as part of fsu module sd module hr module mm module okay there are many transaction codes provided by what sap itself okay what is the purpose of this uh, transactions whenever we enter any data in this transaction this data will go and sit in what standard tables provided by sap itself so what are the tables we know k11 table mara table vbak table ekko table okay for all these tables the data is captured through what transactions those transactions are given by what sap itself okay so the end user is going to use this particular transactions what are the data it captures in this transaction this data will come and sit in what standard tables provided by sap itself so this standard tables uh, may not capture all the data related to what our customers okay i repeat this standard tables provided by sap may not be sufficient to capture the data related to your customers so suppose assume that you are working for some wipro company this wipro is implementing sap for a customer called as what a british Petro petroleum okay so i repeat this wipro company is implementing sap for a customer called as british petroleum okay so according to this british petroleum business requirements they want to capture some data okay so this data in order to capture this data what are the transactions given by sap or what are the standard tables given by sap may not be sufficient so at that time what you will do we will create what customer specific tables understood so the question here is when you have thousands of standard tables why do we go for this custom tables okay the standard tables provided by sap may not be sufficient to capture the data related to your customer so on behalf of every customer we will be creating what some tables I repeat on behalf of every customer we will be creating some tables those tables are called as what customer specific tables so this customer specific tables okay they are used for what capturing what data specific to what customers so every customer will have some its own data so in order to capture their own data we will create what customer specific table so now our agenda is what to create what custom database table and we will understand what are the steps involved in creating the custom database table done so any question so far
required. So now first to begin with, we'll understand what are the minimum settings that we need to provide in order to create a database table. Okay. So in order to create a database table, they are the minimum steps, minimum settings you have to follow. Okay, they are the minimum settings required for creating a database table, like delivery and maintenance fields, technical settings, enhancement category, all those things. Okay, they are the minimum settings required in order to create a database table. So already there are many database tables provided by what SAP. So SAP also needs to provide these settings for creating the database table. So first let us understand the settings related to what standard database table. Then when we create our own table also, we have to follow these minimum settings. Okay. So the agenda here is we should know where to configure the settings and we should know purpose of each and every setting. Blindly we should not provide the setting. Interview point of view, they'll ask you what is a delivery class, what is a data class, what is a size category. We should be able to explain that particular part. Okay, so let's understand the minimum settings. First, let me open any one of the standard table. I'm just connecting to the server, just hold on, please. Right. Then, so here, suppose in where do we create the dictionary objects? What do you mean by dictionary objects? Which get stored in what database? Dictionary objects is which get stored in what database? Right. So, what is the T code for this dictionary objects? SC11. So, I mean SC11. Right. So, here, let me take one of the standard table given by what SAP. I'll take a table called as K11. When it, it's a standard table, so I cannot modify. I cannot open it in chain mode. Right. I cannot open it in chain mode. Understood? Is it clear? So, here, let me just open it in what display mode done so here yeah, first let us understand what is the purpose of this table uh, general data and what customer master general data and customer master what is the first setting we require here yeah you can see the first setting is under delivery and maintenance okay under delivery and maintenance we require what delivery class so if i go to the km table we have a tab called as delivery and maintenance okay if i go to this delivery and maintenance we need to provide what delivery class so what are the possible delivery classes if i browse here we have f4 lpi i can click on this or you can press f4 there are the different delivery classes available okay there are the different delivery classes available so what SAP has given for this K11 table, they gave the delivery class as what A. What does this A indicates? Application table, master and what transaction data. Application table, master and transaction data. Means whenever you want to store a master data or a transaction data, we generally give the delivery class as what A. 
in the body may master data the data which has got more read operations and less write operations master data means the data which has got more read operations but less write operations transaction data means what where you have got more write operations so to understand that if you take our bank account okay so bank account number bank account holder name bank account holder address those things i can say it as what master data which we will not keep on changing what account number or we will not keep on changing the account holder name so that i can call it as what master data transaction data means what the day to day business data we call it as what transaction data understood means uh, in a day i can do n number of deposits deposits i can do n number of withdrawals okay so that data i can call it as what transaction data so whenever you want to create a table for storing master or transaction data then we'll give the application table as what sorry we'll give the delivery class as what a a indicates what application table okay so for k in one table they gave the delivery class as what a let me open another table given by sap let me open another instance then if i go to sc11 let me open what vbak so if you go to delivery and maintenance here also they gave the delivery class as what a okay means that using this table for storing what master and what transaction data let me open a table called as mara table material master data sc11 and give the table name as what mara table right so here also you can observe again it is what master and what transaction data a indicates what application table let me go to another table i'll go to a table called as vbap again this table is what delivery class is what a so they are creating all these tables okay for storing what master and what transaction data okay so what is the purpose of delivery classes it is used for controlling the transportation of table data it is used for controlling the transportation of table data so we have not yet discussed the transport management when we discuss transport management you will understand that point so just to give a some basic information as you like this yeah assume that this is my development system assume that this is my quality system assume that this is my production system okay this is what development system and this is what quality system and this is something what production system okay so as an above consultant what you will do you will create the what database table in what development system okay so assume that this is my database table okay assume that this is some database table what you will do in this database table you will store some data you will store some data so in my development system i am having the structure for my database table structure me what fields and it contains some data also so in the projects what we will do every object that we develop every object that we develop we need to transfer it to our quality system okay we need to transfer it to quality system so at the time of transporting this okay we will have the option whether to transport only the table structure or whether you want to transfer that structure along with the data so that transportation is controlled by what delivery class so delivery class will controls the transport of what table data so when i discuss transport management i'll show you how to transport the table uh, data and table okay so if you put the cursor here if i press f1 see the documentation what it is saying here delivery class is used for what controlling the data transport of tables data transport of tables 
okay for installation upgrade client copy and for transporting between customer systems customers to be what development quality and what production okay the delivery class is also used in extended table maintenance okay so what is the table maintenance at this stage we don't know just leave it but for the time being understand that delivery class okay is used for controlling the transport of what table data from one system to what another system what are the possible delivery classes available you have different delivery classes like a a indicates what application table okay now when are we create our own tables when are we create our own tables we call those tables as what customer specific tables or we call them as what custom tables so for custom tables we will give the delivery class as what c c indicates what customizing table c indicates customizing table maintenance only by what customer understood so here a means what application table which is used for storing what master and what transaction data how do we capture the master data and transaction data through the transactions given by what sap so as i told you there are many transactions given by sap what are the data i captured in the transaction that data will come and sit in these tables now so for maintaining the data the transactions are given by what sap itself but for customer tables it should be taken care of by what customer itself so just remember like this as an abap consultant we will be using the delivery classes either a or what c i can say in other words most of the tables given by sap contains the delivery class as what a which indicates what it is the table used for storing what master data and what transaction data when or we create our own tables we call it as what custom tables okay for representing the custom table we will give the delivery class as what c c indicates what customizing so for the time being understand that delivery class is used for controlling the transport of table data from one system to another system how to do the transportation that will understand when we go to a concept called as a transport management okay as an abap consultant you will create the table in what development client and you may maintain some data in that particular table so when you are what when you are done with the development you need to transport all your objects from development to what quality and then from quality to what production so at the time of transportation we will have the option whether to transport only the table structure or whether you have to transfer the table structure along with the data okay so that is about what delivery class then we have what uh, under delivery and maintenance only we have another option we need to give what is that data browser slash table view maintenance data browser slash table view maintenance okay so under delivery and maintenance only so you take any table you take any table here let me go to k number one table under delivery and maintenance only we have data browser slash table view editing table view editing or maintenance what is the option here you can see there are the three possible options display maintenance allowed with the restrictions display maintenance allowed display maintenance not allowed so what is the meaning of this if this is selected what is that display maintenance allowed with the restrictions what is the meaning i can only view the data but i cannot perform other operations like insert update and what delete i repeat display maintenance allowed with the restriction means i can only display the data but i cannot perform other operations like create insert and update and what delete for example this is my k n one table how do you display the data how do you view the content we have a button here content i can click on this i can see the content given by what i want to see the first to 200 records so i'll just execute this i'm able to see the record now here i'll select this i'll select this record i'll choose table entry Okay, I'll choose table entry. You can see here only display is enabled. The change, create, and delete all are what disabled. All are disabled. I can only view the data. I cannot do any other operation here. That is the meaning of what display maintenance allowed with restrictions. If this is available, anyway, I cannot change this because it is a standard table. I cannot change the settings. 
suppose if this is selected display maintenance allowed means i can perform all the operations from this sc11 only i can create i can insert i can create delete update and not display the data display maintenance not allowed means i cannot perform any of the operation so i can say for the tables given by sap almost for all the standard tables be given by sap you will have the data browser table view maintenance as what this option display maintenance allowed with restrictions so if you open another table also if you open vba calc here also what display maintenance allowed with restrictions let me open mara table same thing display maintenance allowed with restrictions okay so all the standard tables given by sap will contain this particular option which indicates what i can only view the data i cannot do any other operations from this sc 11 from this sc 11 hope it's clear so while we are creating the table also we can decide whether what option you have to give so since it is our own custom table i can give any of the three options i can give any of the three options for our custom tables done then for the other setting you have to give fields just like we already know internal tables internal table is a collection of what fields a work area is a collection of what fields similarly a database table is also a collection of what fields we call them as what columns fields are what columns so if you take any table here suppose if i take uh, what k noun table this k noun table if i go to fields tab Okay, how many fields are there here in this table? We have some 251 fields. These fields are given by whom? SAP. So this is a standard table. Okay, let me open another table, VBA table. If I go to fields, here I got 251 fields. So when we create our own table also, when we create our own table also, we should also give the column names with the data types and what sizes. So if you take this. we have field what ma and dt what is the data type here client size is what 3 vbln what is the data type here character of what 10 this way when you are creating the internal table or work area fields you have to specify the data type and size similarly whenever we create the database table the database table is a collection of what fields so while giving the fields while giving the column names you have to provide the data type and what size right so this is the fields thing then we have what technical settings under technical settings under technical settings we have something called as data class okay under technical settings we have what data class right so let us understand what is this data class so where it is available under what technical settings it is so if i Yeah, in any table if you take first let me go to k name table okay in the k name table here you can see an application toolbar we have a button what technical settings if i click on this yeah, in this technical settings there are the two options i have to provide data class and what size category what is the data class they gave here application 0 it seems application 0 what is this application 0 appl 0 if you browse this appl 0 indicates what master data appl 1 indicates what transaction data appl 2 indicates what organization data so for k noun table they gave the data class as what appl 0 which indicates what master data means they are creating this table for storing what master data that is the meaning similarly if i open vba table i'll go to technical settings what is the data class they give appl1 it seems what is this appl1 indicates transaction data means they are creating this table for storing the day to day data the sales orders data every day we'll create what n number of sales orders that is the day to day data but customers only when a new customer is joining in the business will create the customer so that is why it is what master data whereas the sales order header data and item data is what day to day business data that's why they have marked this table as what they have created this table for storing what transaction data the day to day data if i go to vbap table sales mara table if i go to technical settings 
again they gave the data classes what app of zero mask data so what you have to understand is when we are when we create our own tables we should also specify the data class we should also specify the, whether the data class is appl0 appl1 or whatever it is if you feel that your table is going to store master data if you feel that if your table will have more read operations and less write operations it indicates what master data if you feel that the data will keep on changing so you will give the data class as that appl1 transaction data so why we have to differentiate this master data and transaction data with internally how the sap internally how the sap database is organized is see here this is the way the database is organized okay this is the way how the database is what organized so the sap database is partitioned is partitioned into multiple schemas okay right there in the sap database is divided into multiple partitions we call those partitions as what schemas okay so if you see here observe here they are this is your database which is partition something like this so if you see the first partition what is the name of the first partition master schema nothing but what appl0 transaction 0 schema nothing but appl1 so what is the purpose of this master schema it is going to store what master tables where you will have more read operations so we are physically separating what master tables and what transaction tables understood the sap database will have what thousands of tables okay all the master tables will go and sit in which partition with schema master schema all the transaction tables will go and sit in which schema what transaction schema okay you will have some company historical data every company will have some historical data so that so storing the historical data you will choose a schema as what organization schema nothing but appl2 so what is the purpose of data class means data class will specify in which schema the database table has to be stored data class will specify in which schema in which schema in which partition the database table has to be stored if i choose a data class as appl0 we are indicating sap that we are creating the table for storing what master data so your table will go and sit in which schema master schema that's it we are physically separating the master tables and transaction tables that is the meaning of what data class what is the next setting size category size category okay so before i continue any question so far please ask me any questions given okay so if there are no questions fine so we understood about what uh, data class now as part of this uh, technical settings only we have to give one more option what is that option size category we have to give one more option called as size category okay now what is this size category means already we know how to declare already we know how to declare variables in a bag suppose if i said data x type i data x type i i indicate what integer in a bag integer occupies how many bytes four bytes okay if i say data y type c C indicates what character. It occupies what one byte. Okay. If I say data, what z of twenty type C, what does it indicate? Each character occupies one byte. So, what is happening here? Depending on the data type, depending on the data type of the variable, appropriate amount of memory is what allocated. Depending on the type of data type. appropriate amount of memory is what allocated okay similarly 
when we are creating the database table also in the database, I repeat, whenever you are creating the database table in the database, we should allocate some initial memory for the your database table. That initial memory is controlled by what size category? That is not fixed memory. In this case, these are all fixed memories. These are all fixed memories. Memory will not be increased. Memory will be what fixed. Similarly, but in case of database table, when we create the database table in the SAP database, you should allocate some initial space for your database table. That initial space is controlled by what size category? I repeat, that initial space is controlled by what size category? So, if I go to one of the table. So let me open uh, the tables. So if you go to K table initially, what is the size category here? Three. What is this three? It seems three indicates what? No. What is the size category? Number of data records of table expected. Number of data records of table expected. So for K and table, they gave the category as three. What is the meaning here? 1,800 to 7,400 means means initially it will allocate the memory for storing how many records maximum what 7400 understood initially when the kn1 table was created in sap database it has allocated space for how many records 7400 it doesn't mean that it can store only 7400 records that is only the initial memory okay so Three indicates what year 1800 to 7400. Suppose in the KN1 table, what is the current number of records? How many records are there? If I go to contents, how many are there? 298. But how much memory is allocated initially for storing how many records? 7400. For storing 7400. But it doesn't mean that we can store only 7400. These are the expected records. If you are trying to store more than 7,400, I repeat, if you are trying to store more than 7,400, automatically, automatically the memory will be extended to the initial, to the amount of initial size. Automatically memory will be extended to the amount of initial size. Means, what is the initial size for how many records? 7,400. So, if you are trying to store 7,401 record, automatically the size will be increased to what? Some 15,800 records. It will, it will increase to the amount of what? Initial size. Okay, suppose if SAP has chosen 2, what is the initial size here? 1,800. So every time it will extend the memory for how many records? 1,800 records. Understood? So it is only the initial size. It is not the fixed size memory will be automatically extended depending on the data you are capturing okay and this range is not fixed range remember because in kn1 table three range is what 1800 to 7400 if i go to another table if you take vbak for three what is the range they give 4500 to 18000 that's sure here the range is different so don't buy out the range the range will depend upon the structure of the table. Okay. So for VBAK table, they gave the size category as two means expected data records is what up to what 4500. Again, doesn't mean that I can store only 4500. If you're trying to store more than that, automatically it will increase to the amount of initial size. Amount of initial size means initially offer how much how much uh, records memory is allocated for 4500. So 4500 plus 4,500 becomes 9,000. If you are trying to store more than 9,000, I get it increases memory for another 4,500. becomes 13,500. Like that, this is nothing but the size category. It specifies the initial amount of memory.
that needs to be allocated for your database table okay because of the data entered if the initial space is not sufficient the memory will be automatically extended with the amount of what initial size okay so let me check the documentation of size category i'll put the cursor press f1 right so when i press f1 yeah i can see a size category for reservation of what initial memory space in what database okay initial memory space it is not fixed memory space automatically it will be extended to the initial size depending on the data you enter reference documentation for size category for database tables let me click on this we opened another documentation here yeah, good. the size cat determines the size of the initial memory reserved for a table on the database values between 0 and 9 can be specified a number of expected rows from the table are assigned to these particular values if the yeah, see here if the initial space reserved is exceeded a new memory area is added implicitly in accordance with the chosen size category okay in accordance with the chosen size category means depending on the uh, initial space it will be automatically extended what they are saying a size category must be chosen that does not create too many small memory area and no memory area that are too big so it is asking don't create less memory area or don't create big memory areas okay so try to use what average thing again it is not a fixed memory even whatever you choose initially if it is not sufficient depending on the data entered it will automatically increase to the amount of what initial size that is the meaning of what size category understood so this range is not fixed this range will keep on changing depending on the number of fields in the table depending on the data type of the fields depends on the structure of the table then we have what enhancement category yeah because why sab is giving the documentation is see what they are saying here if you press f1 what they are saying what is the recommendation they are saying here they are saying don't choose don't choose too many small memory area and don't choose too many big areas okay if i choose very suppose if i choose zero if i choose zero what is the initial size for example for 1000 records okay for every 1000 records automatically memory will be increased na? means sap should run some services internally to increase the space for every 1000 records okay and if you choose too much uh, big area unnecessary there is a possibility of what memory wastage Understood? That's what SAP is trying to say. Yes, it will expand on its own, but in order to expand, it has to run some task internally. That is again what time consuming. That will again may degrade what performance. That's why you will have an idea uh, what is the average uh, records you require. So that's why they are recommending to go for what average. Is it clear? Even though it expands on its own, in order to expand that memory it has to run some services it has to run some task internally running that services every time is a expensive task which will increase load on what database server that's why it is recommended to go for what average memory size okay done uh, what else we have enhancement category okay now what is this enhancement category mean suppose if I go to this K9 table, any table, yeah. in the K9 table, what is the purpose of this table? General data and what? Customer master. General data and customer master. How many fields are there? 251 fields are there. Okay. So SAP has given this table with how many fields? 251 fields. What is the purpose of this table? To store the data related to what? Customers general data led to customers like customer number customer country customer first name second name 
region, state, country, pin code, all those things. Okay, done. So assume that just now I told an example, you're working for Wipro and Wipro is implementing SAP for a customer called as British Petroleum. According to British Petroleum business requirements, British Petroleum also will have thousands of customers, lakhs of customers, you know. So according to British Petroleum requirement, in order to capture one customer information, they require some 260 fields. They require some 260 fields. So we need to, the functional consultant will analyze, okay, they require 260 fields. So how many fields are given by SAP? 251. So out of this 251, only 240 are matching with my customer requirement. Only 240 are matching with my customer requirements. I require some additional 20 fields. So I should be able to add some additional 20 fields in this standard table given by what? SAP. I should be able to add additional 20 fields in this standard table given by what? SAP. So in order to add the additional fields in the standard tables, the table should be extensible. The table should be flexible. The table should be extensible. Means the ABAP consultant should be able to add additional fields in the standard tables. That extensibility is controlled by what? Enhancement category. That extensibility is controlled by what? Enhancement category. Means for this k table, if I go to extras, enhancement category, extras menu, enhancement category, what is the enhancement category given by SAP for k table? Can be enhanced. What is this? Character or what? Numeric. So they are telling us we can add some additional fields in this table. Those fields should be either character or what? Numeric. So it is enhanceable. Suppose if SAP has chosen this, can be enhanced character. Means only what? Character fields are what? Allowed. Can be enhanced deep. Deep is what? Structure within the structure. I can add any kind of what? Data type. So this table is what? Enhanceable. Let me go to VBA table. In the VBA table, what is the enhancement category given by SAP? How many fields are given here? 215. But according to my customer requirement, they want some 220 fields for storing the sales order header data. So these are not sufficient. So I should be able to add additional fields. But what kind of fields I can add? If you go to enhancement category, extra screen enhancement category, here also what they have given can be enhanced character like or what? Numeric means in future we will see how to add the additional fields in the standard table. When you go to cross applications, we will have a concept called as enhancements. So in that concept, we will see how to add the additional fields in the standard tables in multiple ways. Right? So this table is also what? Enhanceable. So what is the meaning here? Enhancement category means it will control the extensibility of the table. Okay, enhancement category will specify what type of fields I can add to the table later on. What type of fields, character fields, numeric fields, or both, or any deep structure fields. Deep structure means structure within the structure, nested structure, structure within the structure. So that kind of enhancement is controlled by what? Enhancement category. Okay, so they are the minimum settings we need to provide when you are creating your own database table. So entry point of view, the questions would be, what is delivery class, what is data class, what is size category, what is enhancement category. What is delivery class? It is used for controlling the transport of table data from one system to what? Another system. So what is the meaning? When you are transporting the table from development to quality, we should have the control whether to whether to transport only the table structure or whether to transport the table structure along with the data. So that control is taken care of by what? Delivery class. Okay. Then what is the, another important thing? Data class. Data class will specify in which schema your table has to be stored. So depending on the schema selected, depending on the data class selected, depending on the data class selected, your table will go and sit in what appropriate schema. We'll have different schemas like master schema, transaction schema, organization schema. Master schema will hold master tables. Transaction schema will hold transaction tables. 
organization schema we know company related tables which are used for storing the historical data okay then we have size category size category will indicate how much memory should be allocated for your table initially in the database and this memory is not fixed the memory will be automatically extended to the amount of initial size depending on the data you capture depending on the amount of data you capture and enhancement category will control will specify what kind of fields we can add later on to the table that is controlled by what enhancement category so these are the minimum settings for creating the database tables we have other things also we will discuss them as and when required we have something called as buffering okay we have something called as primary key concepts we have something called as indexes okay we have something called as currency and quantity so all those things we'll discuss as and when required okay so from tomorrow onwards what we will do is we will see how to create the tables how to generate the table maintenance okay how to create the t codes once we are done with that we'll see how to create the database views then we'll see how to use the views in our select statement again we'll come back and we'll see other dictionary objects understood so we'll discuss parallelly programming as well as dictionary objects how to use the dictionary objects in your programs so we'll be shifting to repository objects and what dictionary objects okay that's i'm done with the session for today any questions please ask me practical part we'll discuss tomorrow how to create the table we'll discuss tomorrow any questions please ask me okay so done then so i'll wind up for today we'll continue tomorrow we'll see how to create the database table and one more thing uh, i may take the session on this saturday i may take i'll confirm it tomorrow okay sure. right so i'll wind up we'll continue tomorrow